The consolidating data feature is a lot like the autosum function in that you can summarize a range of data. But with consolidating data, it will summarize data from several ranges into a single range, not just a single cell. You see the sum function, you can go ahead and insert it here. And because I want to be able to pull in the total quantity for all the sales for each employee for each item here, like for Lizzie, there she is, double bubble, cell C5, Gertie, C5 for double bubble, and Dot Warner. Also for consolidating to keep it simple, I put it in cell C5. But in any case, once I go ahead and, and add that up by using the sum function, that's a single cell. But with consolidating data, I can go ahead and select a range and be able to pull all the employees' sales for each of these items over at once. Of course, you want to keep them respectively because when you do it, each one of them has to have it in order as you have it here to consolidate the data. So it goes double bubble. It's got to be for the first cell, Nerds Rope Milky Way. And you can see for Lizzie, double bubble Nerds Rope Milky Way and for all the others are the same. So I've got my workbook that I want to go ahead and pull all those cells for each one of these items into for the three employees. And in order for this to work, by using the consolidating data feature, those other workbooks have to be open. And you can select the range or just select the cell. It doesn't matter because once it dumps it into the first cell, it'll see that it'll have additional cells to dump it into until it fills up the entire range. So we'll automate it for you, whatever you feel more comfortable with. We can just go ahead and select the entire range if you'd like. And then come up here and click on the Data tab. Go to the Data Tools group, and it's right there. Consolidate. And you can see the icon. You've got a bunch of cells going into one. Well, that makes sense because we've got three employees who made cells on Double Bubble going into this one that we're consolidating in the Consolidated Workbook. And then for Nerds Rope, we'll be consolidated into that cell and so on. So let's go ahead and select the range, come up here, and click on Consolidate. And then you can choose if you want to add them up, or choose a different function, Count Average. We'll keep it on Sum. And then we need to go ahead and reference those ranges that we want to pull over into my Consolidated Workbook for those three employees to be able to get the totals in sales for the Double Bubble for all three, Nerds Rope, and so on. And you can do it one of a couple of ways. One way, and be sure that all the workbooks are open, by the way, is to go ahead and click on the Classable Dialog Box button, come up here and click on the View tab, go to the Window group, click on Switch Windows, and it has a list of all the Excel workbooks that are open, the least of which we'll start with Lizzie. And there's her workbook. So we can just come over here and click and drag to select the range, and then click on it to expand it open. Is that correct? Looks good. Click Add. Then once we add it, we can click on the Classical Dialog Box button again. View tab, Windows, to switch. Now we want to go to, let's do Gertie. And then click and drag to select the same range, Quantities, for her sales. Expand. And you can see it's Gertie. We got Lizzie, but we need to add Gertie. So click Add. And you can do it that way, or click on the Classical Dialog Box button. And the last one is dot. You can just come down here and click on the corresponding button for the window that's opened. And it's not allowing me to go over to dot. We better clear this out first here. And then go ahead and click on dot. And there we go. Then we can go ahead and select the range for dot and click on it to expand it. And then say add. Now that we have all three, down below we can use labels. Well, since I already have the label QTY in my consolidated workbook, I don't need to check the box here to go ahead and add the label above the selected range to the consolidated workbook, or if I had a label over and I was doing by rows. And then you can create links to the source data so any changes they make in their workbooks will affect your consolidated workbook, update it. Let's go ahead and check it, and then click okie dokie, and okay, left this in dot. We gotta go back to our consolidating workbook, and hey, there we go. Now before I do anything else, you can see the results and it's coming from different workbooks, you can also apply the same concept for consolidating data to within the workbook. Like if you had a bunch of worksheets for Lizzie, Gertie, and Dot, that you want to consolidate the data from those worksheets into this one, that works. Or you can have it within the same worksheet and just follow the same steps or the same concept there. You're just not going outside by using the switch window feature to be able to select the data in the other workbooks. But instead, you can click on the Classical Dialog Box button, choose the different worksheet or within the worksheet, select the range, then click Add. That works. So now looking at the totals here, let's see if it checks out. You've got these plus signs that you can expand, 
that shows you it's being pulled in from three different workbooks. So we have zero sales for, this is for double bubble, zero sales, and who did zero? Just look up here in the formula bar, it's the workbook dot Warner. Oh, she's in trouble. Who made the two? Hey, Gertie, I can count on her. And then finally for Lizzie, cool. Go ahead and click on plus to expand the next one. The total for Nerds Ropes is 443. You can click and drag to select the range of the three cells, and you can check it down below on the status bar, 443, cool. You've got your levels one, which is just the totals, and then two broken down by cells by the individual employees. And they're linked, so any changes that I make, like let's do it for double bubble for dot. Let's go to dot's workbook and say she made a whole whopping 20. Hit enter. It should update back in the consolidating workbook. And hey, there we go. Sweet. One last thought is that it's being linked to the workbook that's on the desktop. In other words, if Dot takes her workbook and puts it into a folder on the desktop or on the network, and you open up the workbook and it says, uh, we can't find the workbook, you want to watch my link workbooks training video because up here on the data tab in the connections group, we got to reconnect to that workbook that's gone missing. That is, if it hasn't been deleted or it's in a place that you don't have access to. And just as a quick reference, click on Edit Links, and you can see it's being linked to Dot, Gertie, and Lizzie. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.